If you can invest 33 cents and get a dollar spread out on the back end, how many of you would do it all day long? If you find a way to pay for something 500 and get $1,500 back, keep doing it faster. And then find ways to reduce the initial 500 to maybe 250 to maybe 100 and change the 1500 to something that's bigger. And I'll show you in a moment how to do that. Okay? And let's say you charge somebody $1,000 a month. And they work with you for 12 months. That's $12,000. Could you pay $1,000 for the client? You want to know a little secret? I have paid about $1,000 per person for each single one of you for the privilege of having you in this room, on average. All right? Let me give you an idea. This program is a prototype for something that we're going to scale and blow out of the water next year, but we need to prototype it first. So out of this prototyping, I think we ended up with about 50 plus clients. It's about a quarter million dollars in revenue. My expenses were about, I think once it's all set and down with all the costs and all the admin help that I would have to have for this, about $70,000. So we end up with about $150,000. Total amount of work that it takes to put this together is about two and a half working months. Okay, now it spreads longer, but it's about two and a half months and I'm building some cushion in there. Is that a good revenue, good income for two and a half months of work? Is that a good exchange of time for the money? Yes. But you see, I've paid a lot of money to acquire first customers. I didn't pay for all of you this much, but for some I paid a lot more than a thousand. Does that make sense? This is not complicated. It's not magic. But if I figure if I can make, if I can have a client pay me for something, $5,000, how much am I willing to pay to somebody to give me that client to start with because I know that if I do my work right, that client will stay with me for a lot longer than one year. If I can help them build the business that I think I can help you build, how many of you will likely be to disengage and go somewhere else? You'll want to stay and keep building it, right? So is that a great investment to bring in a valuable, high-quality client? Does that start giving you some ideas where you have been too cheap with your marketing? Yes. There's no better way to put it because you were only seeing the price. You were not seeing the cost. The price is, oh my gosh, I've got to pay what for that? The cost is failure in business. Which one is a better choice? All right, I'll pay you, whatever it is. That's a better choice, but you never looked at it this way, have you? The answer is no, but thank you.